three comedians, including our copywriter production extraordinaire, the guy who uh, writes comedy and only insults us a couple times a week. But <laughs> other than that, he, he's the one that tells us what to say. So let's introduce first uh, Jordi D'Angelo. Jordi D'Angelo, from uh, you're from this area, right? Yeah, I'm from uh, originally from Eddie Cobb. Yeah. Mr. Bill Lake, native. Yep, John. Big Hearn. Yeah, became a native in '86. We're going to talk about the comedy crawl that you guys have come, coming up uh, appropriately April Fool's Day. Yes. Jordy. Yes. Tell us a little bit about you and uh, how long you've been doing comedy. I've been doing comedy not as long as these guys, not even close. Um, probably like a year, maybe, maybe a little over a year and a half now or whatever. Um, but uh, thought a comedy crawl. I actually had an idea for this similar crawl event a couple mm -hmm. years ago, and didn't really go anywhere. And then I started doing comedy. I loved it. And I was like, this would be the perfect format to do, you know, the comedy crawl. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and so there we have it. April 1st, we'll be doing it. What's unique about this show is it features local people from the area here. Um, and a lot of times we bring in comedians. We've done comedy shows throughout. I know you guys have been involved in some of that too. Yeah. But bringing in, you know, having local people that have been here. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of digs, a lot of puns towards uh, our area just for fun, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have that. We also do have some people coming in from out of town too. It's a nice mm -hmm. mix, but mostly locals for mm -hmm. sure. We have our, um, everybody from our Parlor City Comedy Group that we're a part of is mm -hmm. going to be uh, performing for sure. Happy to be doing that. Very cool. And Bill, Lake, you've been doing this, and you've actually written for uh, some, some big names, too. Yeah, I wrote for some uh, TV shows, Screenlance, for a few years, but uh, doing stand-up, I've only been doing that for about a year and a half. It's uh, it's kind of an extension of some of the stuff that you write. <clears throat> yeah, but instead of writing for David Letterman, I'm trying to write for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. Do you have any particular subjects that you like best to write about? Uh, I do a few jokes about work, so, uh, yeah, you know, they're pretty, pretty common subjects of work, and just things you observe every day, and things you hear, and mm -hmm. some personal stuff, easy. And Big Earn, <laughs> your name is Ernesto Galano. That's right. She's Ernesto. the angel of Galano, Big Italian, and I'm Sicilian. All right. See you soon. <laughs> Ernesto Galano, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you. You've been here since 86. Yep, I've been here since 86. Um, you know, I'm a native New Yorker. Mm -hmm. Um... I've been doing comedy, this is actually my third year, but I've been producing comedy over a year. I've been influenced by um, Henny Young Men, um, you know, Red Fox, he had a very unorthodox style of comedy that was really mm -hmm. cool. And um, a lot of influences from Henny, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. Do you have a uh, favorite type? Um, to be honest with you, if we're going to really pick a favorite, i got to give it back to Henny Young Men. King of the one-liners, um, yeah. I was nine years old and he said a joke, um, I saw a clip from the Jack Benny show and he goes, for 80 years, my mother, she never used glasses. He goes, she drank the booze straight out the bottle. <laughs> and I just found it really funny at the age of nine, so it stuck with me. So how do you take you this, uh, this the, Henny Youngman is old, old, old school, which, like you said, they're, they were the originators. How do you take something like that and kind of make it current? Um, I think humor doesn't matter, you know, you know what genre or what age you are. Um, I bring anything to the table, and I think it's how you deliver comedy. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you can take a basic joke and make it very powerful if you bring it across right. Yeah. You know, so it's just all about personality and dealing with your crowd. So let's talk about the show. Bill, I know you guys, have, what made you decide to put this on? This is a free show, by the way, we want to tell people. It's an absolutely free show. Yeah, it's going to start at uh, Water Street uh, Brewing Company mm -hmm. at uh, 6 p.m. Those shows, each show is going to last about 45 minutes, and then you have 15 minutes, so you have plenty of time to get from one venue to the next. And then after that, we go to uh, the place on court at 7. We'll go to the town with Tom's at 8. And then we finish up with an after party at Maddie B's, which is kind of where everything started for us. You know, um, mm -hmm. Marty and, and Sam were the owners there, and they gave us this place where we could, you know, uh, do open comedy night and open mic comedy night. And uh, it's really helped us to grow. We started Parlor City Comedy out of there. They're just awesome people, so we want to throw back to them and, and close out tonight with a, the night with a bang. And how have your shows been received? I know you do you do some other stuff around town. Good, I think they've been good. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think we're trying to start uh, start a bigger comedy scene here in yeah. Binghamton, and, and part of the comedy crawl is to let people know there are a lot of people here doing comedy. And like I said, we do the open mic every Wednesday night at Maddie B's, uh, but we're starting to put on more shows. We're getting a good turnout, and uh, that was part of the idea of organizing Parlor City Comedy is to bring 
a group of eight or ten, twelve comedians together and to start to do shows locally. And I should have read this a little better. Four venues, twelve comedians, one hilarious night. Yep. So that's why they call it the Comedy Crawl, obviously. Right, yep. Um, and you've got some other folks coming in from out of town. How, how, do, you, do you know these guys personally or how do you get the word out? I did. Um, actually, Andy Lester came in to uh, Matty B's one night. He was just in town. He messaged me on Facebook and wanted to, to stop by. He ended up doing a great set. I was like, well, you know, I'm probably going to be doing this event in April. Are you interested? He said, sure. So I'm bringing him back. Phil Stamato is coming in. He's a, he's a local. Yep. He writes for Split Sider now. He did an earned show not too long ago. That's right. And uh, he's interviewed people like Brian Regan on there. So he does a nice job. And then Nick Vetterot, um, who's headlining the, the final show at Atomic Toms. Uh, he's been on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Conan. He's got his own 30-minute uh, uh, special on Comedy Central. So, um, you know, it's a nice mix of not only our local guys, but some guys out of town. I mean, it's going to be a quality show, and it's free, totally free. And you guys kind of do this. This is kind of a sideline for you. Do you have aspirations of taking it on the road, or you just like to do the local stuff? I want to stay local. Um, personally, I would like to... Um even see it like if we could have a comedy club here of our own. I want to make a staple where even if you're um, you're traveling to the East Coast and you you were once um, starting out and you became someone, but you better like, hey, you know, I'm going to be coming to upstate New York. Can I stop by and you know come to a venue with us? And hopefully that could be something we can have. They got the funny bone everywhere. They got all these different places. We want something. Yeah. It'd be nice to put a, a mark for comedy here in Binghamton. It would be nice. To yeah, absolutely. Kyle, anything you want to add? To <clears throat> no, no. I mean, their sound guy's great, so that's that's a. Kyle, <laughs> <laughs> he's running sound. That's why he's here. But our, our man. <laughs> For me, nights Thursday night at Maddie B's. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> okay, funniest comedian today. Oh man, there are so many. I I, I mean, as, as a stand-up comedian, Brian Regan. I don't know. I lo I love Brian. He's awesome. Definitely one of my favorite comedians. Um, is Marianne Donnelly. She's uh, she's very very funny. Um, she brings the heat. Whatever she comes to the stage, um, I had a show where I had a comic bail on me, and I called her within 12 hours, and she came and she's been one of the favorites, and people at my shows asked for her to come back. She's amazing. Very cool. I'll have to check that out. Bill, do you have a favorite? No. I like Dimitri Martin. Oh yeah, um, that's a good call. guy. A lot of people aren't familiar with. They know him if they saw him named Jake Johansson. Just check him out. I like him, but. Uh, Different people for different styles of stuff, but yeah. two of my favorites. Well, this sounds like a fun yeah, night. Stop. It gets underway again. The first stop is? Water Street Brewing Company. That's at 6 o'clock. Yep. And uh, the venues are all within walking distance. Like Jordy said, uh, we're going to wrap the shows up in about 45 minutes so people have time to go to the next venue yeah. and catch the next show. And before I forget, um, Locals Inc. is going to be live printing shirts out of Tom and Tom's uh, for the majority of the show there. So if people want to pick up a shirt, they can... Uh, they can purchase one back. So if anybody wants to see Jordy or Bill or Big Earn, they can stop and see them during the Comedy Crawl, which is coming up April Fool's Day, April 1st. That's right. Anything in closing? Jokes? Anything? Uh, we're going to have to make people, we're going to make people wait until they come out. Yeah. yeah. It's free. You might as well wait. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Fem funniest one-liner? Henny Youngman guy? Henny Youngman's fit. Oh, well, the only funniest one-liner is on 44. Been married 22 years and my wife took half my life. <laughs> How's that? How about you? Uh, we're always doing Rodney Dangerfield jokes, right? Mm -hmm. My favorite one is uh, the psychiatrist told me I'm crazy. I said, I want a second opinion. He goes, okay, you're ugly too. This is the corniest joke ever that I wrote, but I'm so proud of it. What do you call a bunch of dead geese in the middle of the, of the road? What do you call a bunch of dead geese in the middle of the road? Goosebumps. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, my God. Hey. Why don't aardvarks ever get sick? Why? Because they're full of little antibodies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 10,000 comedians had a joke. Awesome. Here you go. Comedy Call coming up. Come see it. April 1st.